Hello, and welcome to the cannery. My name is Talia, and I'm a museum educator here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. The canning industry of Baltimore is a personal favorite of mine because it encompasses centuries of state history and changed the way we eat food. Built in 1865, this building was originally a cannery owned by a man named Landra Beach Platt. Mr. Platt was one of many cannery owners as it is estimated that there were over 70 canneries in the city during the 19th century. Today, you are standing in the last remaining cannery from that period. You may be wondering, what is a cannery? Well, a cannery is a factory that makes cans to preserve food. If you've ever eaten food from a can, you have the historic Baltimore canning industry to thank for the innovations that kept food fresh for long periods of time. In Mr. Platt's cannery, like Baltimore's canning industry as a whole, they preserved fruits, vegetables, and oysters. New technologies and a thriving Chesapeake Bay made Baltimore's canning industry the most active in the country. By 1870, the selling of oysters was a $50 million industry that employed 15,000 people statewide. Those numbers would steadily increase until the turn of the century, when the Chesapeake Bay faced a shortage of oysters from overharvesting. As you walk through the cannery, notice the different technologies used in Baltimore's canneries and the diversity of the industry's workforce. And look down, too! The wood floors are from Mr. Platt's cannery as well. Enjoy!